Yes, Coach will uh, hold it safe. Well, we knew that uh, Iowa was one of the hottest teams in the Big Ten. We feel them and Nebraska are. And, um, you know, they, they played two uh, games this week, but sometimes when you have a week off, it takes you a while to get going. And obviously our first half was poor, and theirs was fantastic. And we're hoping that uh, the change of tide would occur, and it did. <laughs> but the execution down uh, the second half, defensively and offensively, was a big key to our success. Courtney, you're a good free throw shooter, but those are a little bit more pressure pack. What are you thinking at the line there with seven seconds left? Uh, thinking about all the times I've been there when there hasn't been 10,000 people. And um, just to knock down the shots for the team. Can you point to one thing why you guys rallied from an 18 point deficit? Um, heart and passion, and we never gave up. Didi, a, a similar question, I guess. Do you feel like there's something about this team right now? I mean, this is two games in a row with major rallies, and, and you have to feel pretty confident no matter what the situation, I would imagine. Um, definitely. We're just playing for something bigger than ourselves, and, you know, half time coach got on us, but that's what we needed. We started off pretty slow at the, at the first half. The second half, we came out. Defense is what got us going, and um, that's just what's going to keep us going. I feel like we're just playing for something bigger than ourselves. Dee Dee, well, I mean, the spark to start the second half that wasn't there in the first half, I mean, how did, why did it emerge so quickly? Um, I just think we just buckled down and play, started playing defense. That's what's, that Our defense is what gets us going. Um, I just feel like we look to each other, and once somebody starts going on defense, we all start going, and that's what really got our offense like sparked up. And just how you've kind of settled into your new role and how comfortable you are now from, from anywhere on the floor, especially the three-point line. Um, you know, my teammates, coaches, everybody's still just giving me confidence, and I'm getting more confidence in myself. And, uh, I just have to be confident out there. I can't be hesitant because that's when you're going to miss the shot. And I, that's all I was today was confident. Um, like I said, my defense is what sparked it, and I was happy about it. Courtney, what has gotten into DD lately? Um, that's just who DD is. She can uh, step up defensively, offensively. And <coughs> she's just been waiting for a moment to step up, and she's doing a great job. Just, Courtney, in the, in the first half, I mean, do, you, do you feel like they were just hitting shots that – Maybe you haven't seen them hit, and that they would cool off a little bit, or just, you know, how did they get out to that that big lead so quickly? Uh, we know that Iowa is a great shooting team; they always have been, and we just weren't playing good defense. Uh, we weren't contesting shots, and it's a tell of two halves. First half, Iowa 44, Purdue 28. Second half, Purdue 46, Iowa 29. So that is a difference. Seems to ask this question after every game that you guys come back, but <coughs> transition again. Was that second half about all, just about everything transition? Yeah, we knew that Iowa had played two games. Um, it was nice that we had a bye week. So I'm just having fresh legs and be able to get out and transition. Dee, did you feel like there was a couple moments there where you guys just had to do everything you possibly could to, to spring Courtney for some open looks? Definitely. Um, when Courtney's on, she's on, and we're going to do whatever we can to get her the ball. Um, she was on fire tonight, and that's what we needed. Um, her threes got us going. I mean, I just feel like we passed get her the ball, and we did. Just uh, the last, their last possession, they get the ball with seven seconds left. You picked up uh, logic there, uh, which was, I think, a switch from what you guys had been doing. Just, you know, what, what sort of your game plan against her in, in that instance? Um, just to get up on her and make her pressure, basically, not to let her get an open look and just pray for the best, and I feel like that's what we did. We did a great job. Lisa came up. Um, and got a contest on the last shot, and I feel like it happened. It worked, it worked for us. Sharon, have you learned anything new about your team today? Yeah, that we need to play 40 minutes, uh, not a half. Um, no, I mean, it, you know, the second half, I was proud of how they played. You know, win or lose, but, you know, it would be sad if we would have lost a game because we weren't playing hard the first half. We were, like, in a daze, and that could have been a day off, a week off, who knows. But... Um, no, I learned a lot, and you know we made uh, <laughs> constant sw switches on defense. Dee started out on 22, April was on 23, Lisa was on 23. Um, second half, we flipped off because 23 was certain in us, you know. But at the end of the game, you want to put Dee Williams on their go-to player, which we know they only had six seconds to be able to get down the court, and she actually caused you to fumble the basketball. And I think e even if that shot went in, it was it was no good because the, the light was on, but. Um, you know, it, it just comes down to execution. And, and so this group is believing everything that we do. Everything we wrote up worked today. And I think they have to continue to believe that. Um, you know, any time that's a timeout, they have to execute it and score. Uh, but we were able to do that. What was the halftime speech? 
Um, nothing about X's and O's. It was all about heart, playing hard, just getting after him on that. I just didn't understand, you know. Um, so just just kind of getting in him a little bit. That was about it. The last two offensive possessions, you, you went with Courtney there, it looked like just wanted her to go to the hole. Was that sort of the intent, and, and both times it worked out pretty well? Yeah, I mean, uh, April was doing that early on. It, you know, and sometimes people get comfortable with stuff. That's why we kept switching things back and forth defensively. On offense, April was doing that early and said, hey, Courtney up all day. Well, then, okay, let's have Courtney come off the screen, and she could create for herself and, or hit April and Dee Dee. So, um, you know, that's just, you know, that's just a gut coaching decision. It's nothing more than that. You're just trying to go to that person and trying to see if they're going to make the adjustment. Just eventually, how did you, how did you solve their zone? Well, we finally got the ball to the mid post and they all got sucked in and then we were able to kick it out and hit the short corner and then hit the layup or hit the three. Uh, first half, we weren't moving the basketball. I mean, you saw the halves were just totally different. They were moving, we weren't. Second half, we were moving, they weren't. So, um, we just had, you know, just more pep um, in our offense, which that's what we have to have. Did you feel like your entry passes got a lot better in the second half? It seemed like a lot were being knocked away in the first. And We're lazy, you know, and that's, that's talking about playing hard on offense and defense. You know, they, they think playing hard is running. Playing hard is being a great passer, being in a triple threat, doing a hard ball fake, posting up hard, it, you know. Uh, so I always have to explain what I mean by playing hard is. In, in the second half, they were zipping the ball, they are making a move. Um, you know, and again, the, they're student athletes and they got a lot on their plate. Um, you know, but this group has really done a great job of really stepping up to the plate and doing what they need to. It's how difficult of a matchup is logic. Could you finish with another triple double today and I think six deals or something like that? Well, she's a tough matchup because they have such great shooters around her. You know, if you didn't have those great shooters, you could put two people on her, you could double team. But she is a great per a great player to find the open person if somebody helps off. She doesn't force <laughs> anything. She barely turns the ball over. Um, you know, but it was a tale of two halves. You know, we took, tried, took 23 out first, uh, the second half. Uh, first half, we took 22 out. You know, so she's just a great basketball player. And, um, you know, when she gets deep, it doesn't matter. You have to have somebody like Dee on her. You can't have somebody undersized on her. Just the significance of this win since you only play them once and now you kind of you move a little bit closer into the uh, the upper division uh, into the, one of those top four spots just the, the importance of this win when you look at seedings in the Big Ten tournament we totally talked about that we only play them once we beat Penn State they beat Penn State so we needed to win the head-to-head -head, you know which is very important so um, you know this game goes a long way one for our confidence going into our last three games Two have positions us right now in the top four. They still got games to go. We still have some tough games to go. But um, you know, it, this team is now matured, so it's reality. You know, this next game against Minnesota is important because they haven't been on a winning streak. The next game, so it's big today. What are you seeing out of Dee Dee that maybe you didn't see earlier in the year? You know, we we've always talked, and you know, Dee Dee's one that will do anything for her team, and she's very unselfish to the point, maybe too unselfish at times. And we've talked about that her whole career, but. So you just get back to playing defense, and the rest comes. You know, she's one of the best defensive players that's ever put a uniform on. And it's not about steals; it's about locking down one of the team's best player. And she's really gotten back to that. She's shooting in practice. There's no hesitation. She knows she's um, another offensive threat for us, where she didn't feel that before. Um, you know, whether it was uh, us not doing a, a good enough job telling her she was an offensive threat, or her just knowing that she had to feed other people, you know, it was that combination. But this is an opportunity, and she stepped up big. Courtney, real quick, what was your pose or whatever that was after your three-pointer with about two minutes to go? <laughs> it's called the Nene dance. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and our team, um, I mean, it's, it was like throughout the country, so I just bring a little bit of excitement. But it was the Nene. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys.